So double 11, it's much bigger than you think. Singles day, 11-11, you hear about this and you think Black Friday, yeah, let's talk about that. In one hour, last year, 57 billion RMB. That's three times the sales of Black Friday's best year in an hour. Now, I saw data yesterday that I can't even believe. Alibaba is promising a billion orders in 24 hours this year, a billion, All right? How are they gonna do that? They have these big live show events, la la la, you go in, there's 57 million people paying attention and buying stuff. Actually, here's how they're doing it. It's retail is entertainment, boys. It's called shoppertainment, and they own this category. That's why they bought Hollywood Studios. You watch the new Mission Impossible, it's in Alibaba Pictures. This year, billion RMB giveaway with Hong Baos, which is what you give to everyone at Chinese New Year. Right? He's given away a billion RMB. And to give you an idea of how much gaming we're doing, you can invite friends to join your team. You, every time you go on a Tmall store, you get a point. You can play in-app games all day long. You get more points and more discounts, and they flood your accounts. You get tons of coupons coming in. The ecosystem will be fully assembled. Well, that doesn't mean anything. What the hell does that mean? Let me show you. 180,000 brands this year global and local. The big change this year is the offline merchants, 200,000. This new retail thing, it's not going away. He has invented a new version of retail. It is different. So if you have a chance, go to a Hema store. Go to any of the new retail stores. Go to L'Oreal's kiosks or, or stores in China. You will see how incredible this software is. It is a full, seamless experience between on and offline. There is no separation. He's blurred the lines, and the data now is combined. Ling Shou Tong has added augmented reality to that seamless, integrated new retail experience. And Lazada, which we all know, you're in Southeast Asia, services five or six countries in Southeast Asia, right? They're now adding 1111 to the mix and pulling it in to add to the power of the technology and the size of this event. These branded pop-up stores with AR are absolutely incredible. So when you go in and you wanna to go to a Mac store now in Shanghai, you go in, you can try on the makeup on your face in the wall. Place an order on Tmall, it's delivered that afternoon. No drones, there's customer service. I can actually talk to the person through the mirror and get customer service on Tmall, just like I showed you in that lamp store. I talked to someone. Hey, do you like the way this looks on me? What do you think? Can you show me some other people who have the same lipstick? I can do this live in real time. Now, in store, we also have games. Okay, so right now, what's popular is this one, building comments. So you, you get people to post comments and they win prizes. So you're constantly throwing out all sorts of ways to do this. This increases your store's weight. So it's, your store has to have a rank and a weight. The weight of the store is the amount of valuable content from consumers that have interacted with it, frequency, recency, and units of sale, just like in the West. This one's big. So Diodora is one of my clients we just launched, and we are using this gamification method to drive the weight. And going into 11.11, we were only hitting, I think, 20 to 50% of monthly target in sales, but on 11.11, we're now at 10,000 orders in the cart because we did this. And the key here is you have to make your offer super fun. So whoever wins this prize for the coolest way of wearing the Diodora shoes is 10 minutes. Okay. The, cool, the person who has the coolest look that we vote internally and also consumers can vote is winning a chance to go to Hangzhou this Friday and Saturday with Baccio, which is a very famous footballer from Italy. And we're doing a live stream show with Baccio for the Diodora store. Okay? It's very powerful, guys. It's super powerful. And, you know, there's other things like check in daily and receive points. This is Foursquare, in case you were wondering, but it's embedded into Taobao. It's not a separate app on your phone. You don't need 27 apps, you need one. One. And you can do these fruit ninjas, right? <laughs> Which to me is kind of ridiculous, but you'd be surprised how many people are playing this game every day and trying to win the prizes. 
I know you all know what this looks like. <laughs> this room is filled with people in the gaming industry. And, you know, this is a roulette wheel. This is the most popular game on all the stores we operate. People love this, right? They love games. They love gambling. They love winning prizes. There's so many bells and whistles. There's so much entertainment here, right? There is so much fun in the shopping experience because Jack Ma is not Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is trying to save your time and Jack Ma is trying to spend it. He wants you engaged and playing. You know, I know a place like this. Actually, I go there a lot. You know, I grew up, my dad actually lived there for a number of years. It's Vegas. Taobao is Las Vegas of shopping. That's what it is. And I want to leave you with something, and that is this. It's not really what you can learn from what Jack Ma's done to basically take things that you guys do every day. You know, for you guys, this is old hat, right? Roulette leels, you know, these kind of games and prize winnings. But actually, in retail, it's completely new experience for consumers in this world. The question you have to ask yourself isn't what you can learn from China. It's whether your, your business, your operation is pioneering a new experience for the consumer, whether you're leading the behavioral change, whether it's irresistible, exceptional, and fun, and it's worth coming back to. Thank you.